In this video, I'll show you how a 3D model can be fetched from a Firebase storage. To do this, first we will download the 3D model from the Firebase storage, then we will save it into the device's local storage, and then from the local storage, we will retrieve it back as a model renderable and then we will display the model renderable into our augmented reality scene. The source code of this project can be found in a GitHub repository. I'll put a link to the GitHub repository in the description box. And if you find it useful, then don't forget to start it because it's free and it makes me happy. So enough of the BS, now let's get right into it. Let's start by creating a Firebase project. I'll put a link to this website in the description box. Enter a name for your project. Default account for Firebase and then create the project. Once the project is ready, click on continue. And from the left panel, go to storage. Then click on get started. Leave the rules to default and leave the location to default. Now click on done. Now we will upload a 3D model in the storage. So open a new tab and go to the website poly.google.com. We will download a model of the Android robot. So search Android. Now click on download and download the updated GLTF file. We have downloaded a GLTF file, but in our project, we will be using a GLB file because the GLTF file is dependent on other files such as the bin and the texture images. And if the name of those files change, then the model will not get loaded because of which it becomes really difficult to work with GLTF files. So I will never suggest you to work directly with GLTF files. Instead, use GLB. What happens in GLB is all the files that are required for a GLTF model are converted into a single file and that is called as GLB. You can convert the GLTF file into a GLB through an online converter. So first extract this archive.zip, open up the extracted folder and we will need to upload these three files to convert it into a GLB. Now go back to Chrome and search for gltf to glb converter online open this link i'll put a link to this website in the description box you can use any online converter that works and now what we need to do is we need to drag those three files in here and then the gltf will get converted to glb select all these three files and drag it inside this window and out comes the glb now we will upload this GLB in our Firebase storage. So click on upload file and select the out.glb file. Click on open. Now go back to the home page of the project and here click on this Android symbol. This requires the package name of our Android app. So go to Android studio and go to build.gradle module colon app. And from here, copy this application ID and paste it in here and then click on register app. We will need to include this Google services.json in our project. So download this file. Once downloaded, copy it and here change this Android to project and paste the Google services.json in this app folder. Change back this project to Android and now open the build.gradle file. Here we will add Firebase storage and scene form dependency. We will also need to add the scene forms asset dependency. Now add Java 8 support. Now click sync now. Open the manifests file and here add the permissions internet and camera. Also declare the feature camera. 
Inside the application tag, add AR core metadata. Now open the build.gradle project level. And here we will have to add the class path of Google services. com.google.gms Google services version 4.3.3. And we will also have to add the Google services plugin in the build.gradle module level. Below the dependencies, type apply plugin colon com.google.gms.google services. And finally, click on sync now. After setting up the project, open activity main.xml and click on this split icon so that we can see our XML code. Replace the root element with relative layout. Remove this text view and add a fragment, set width and height to match parent, give this an id ar fragment and name will be com.google.arseenform.ux.ar fragment. After this add a button, set width and height to wrap content, id will be download button, Set center horizontal to true and align parent bottom to true and also set margin bottom to 24 dp. Give this a text download. When this button is clicked then we will download our glb file from the firebase storage. Now go to mainactivity.java and create an object of ar fragment. Refer this to the ar fragment that we have in our layout and we will have to cast it to AR fragment. Now find the download button by its ID. Set this button on click listener. Before we can download the files, we will have to initialize Firebase in our project. So call Firebase app dot initialize app this. And then we will need an object of Firebase storage. and we will need a storage reference to our out.glb file. Here we will have to pass the path of the model. The model is located in the root folder so we can just type in the name of the file. After having a reference to the model inside the download button call modelref.getfile. Here we have to pass a file object where our model will be downloaded. So create an object of file and using the static function create temp file, we will create a file. The name of the file will be out and suffix will be glb. We will need to surround this with try catch because this throws an IO exception. And then move this thing inside the try catch. Model ref dot get file file dot add on success listener new on success listener. Once we have the file downloaded, we will build our 3D model. And for that we will create a function named build model. And in this function we will pass the file that we downloaded as a parameter. Press alt enter and create this function. And here create an object of renderable source equals renderable source dot builder dot set source this comma uri dot parse file dot get path and source type is glb and the recenter mode will be root if you do not know how to fetch a 3d model at the runtime then i have a video on that i'll put it in the description box finally build this renderable source and now we will build our model model renderable dot builder set source this comma renderable source dot set registry id file dot get path dot build and then accept the model renderable when the model is built then we will show a toast message which will say model built and then we will store this model renderable object in a global object so create an object of model renderable, name this renderable, refer this renderable to the model renderable. And now when the AR plane is tapped, then we will 
display our model. So inside the on create, set the AR fragment on tap listener, create an object of anchor node and pass the hit result anchor as a parameter and then set the renderable of the anchor node to the model renderable that we just created. And finally add this anchor node to the scene. Get scene add child anchor node. If we run this now then it won't work because our Firebase storage has private rules and without authentication our Android app cannot fetch data from the Firebase storage. So we will have to go back to our Firebase console, select your app and then go to the storage section, go to the rules and here just remove this condition and add a semicolon at the end. Now click on publish. Once this is done, you can run and test this application. Allow the permission and click on the download button. The model is built. Now let's find a plane. Tap on the plane. And you can see the Android robot is placed in the scene.